Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. Welcome to DetailJuice.com, or I should say my YouTube channel for DetailJuice.com. The question that I'm probably asked, I wouldn't say most, but definitely I get asked a lot. How do I clean wheels and fender wells and tires when I'm doing the Gary Dean wash method, which is a rinseless wash method? Well, you see that we've got this nasty situation on our hands. This Kia wheel has not been cleaned, well, since it was purchased. You see the barrel's all nasty. The wheel face is all nasty. You got some browning on the tires. You got a uh, cloth type inner fender well. Well, the answer is, when I'm done with my wash, bucket you notice that it's nice and clean because no dirt from the vehicle reintroduces itself to the paint which means there's no once you pull a towel out of this clean wash bucket with the Gary Dean wash method the towel never sees that water again so the water stays clean not that that matters too much for the wheel situation I'm about to show you but it matters a lot when you're washing the paint and you're concerned about swirl marks and whatever. So anyway, uh, how I clean wheels uh, after the Gary Dean wash method. So obviously I'm gonna clean the paint, I'm gonna do the paint thing and then I'll clean the wheels last so that I'm utilizing all the water and not having to use more water. So we've got, I don't know, probably a little less than a gallon now of water left. We've got my black microfiber towel soaking in the infinite use detail juice and this particular bucket has juice boost in it. So when I'm cleaning, I'm sealing, uh, protecting the paint at the same time. So I've, I use a variety of brushes. I don't use a ton of brushes. I believe that your fingers are the best type of brush for anything, especially for wheels and engine bays and motorcycle situations. But uh, anyway, I'll put my various brushes in the bucket like so um, this is uh, a wheel woolly I use for the barrels this is a hard bristle brush I'll use for the tires I'll also use that wheel woolly for the fender wells uh, this is a uh, boar's hair brush that I will use for fender wells and wheel faces uh, and then this little brush I use for lug nut areas and then obviously I'll use the microfiber for whatever I can use the microfiber for. Um, I generally use my infinite purpose cleaner for wheels that I know are you know the brake dust is caked on and whatnot I'll use my uh, tiger's blood cleaner which is a, a little heavier duty than this not quite as versatile but it's really aggressive for the nasty stuff. So without further ado I'm going to put you here on the tripod and I'm going to go to town on this wheel. Boom. All right, so first order of business, put the uh, sprayer on spray. This is diluted. Uh, there's probably about that much infinite purpose cleaner in here and then I filled the rest up with water. So I hit the tires. Cool thing about the infinite purpose cleaner beyond the fact that it can be used on everything inside and outside of the car is that it doesn't have a heavy chemical smell, which is definitely a good thing. All right, so it's all sprayed down with the infinite use or with the uh, infinite purpose cleaner. I'll take my hard bristle brush first and I'll scrub all that browning off the tire. That's the first thing I do. Get all that stuff off. All right, then I'll take my other brush and I'll get the lug nut areas clean. Then the next thing that I'll do is I'll clean the tires and the wheel faces with this nice little boar's hair brush, nice and soft. Um, you can get in all the nooks and crannies with a boar's hair brush like this. Doesn't necessarily have to be boar's hair, you just want a very soft bristle brush to do this situation. Um, I will be using the microfiber towel on this particular wheel to clean off all the residue but notice how I just use a wheel woolly stick it inside the barrel 
get the barrels all nice and clean. And you know, where I'm at with the barrels is if you can see them, if they're easily noticeable uh, and they're quite obvious, they should definitely be clean. Uh, on these wheels, you can definitely see the barrels. Um, I'm gonna take the microfiber towel now. I'm gonna wring it out so that I can literally just go back and wipe off all the nasty. Um, I did forget though, on the fender wheels, I'll usually stick my uh, wheel woolies in there, get the fender wheels all nice. Whether it's cloth or plastic, doesn't matter. Get the fender wheels nice and clean. Then you go back and you just dry the wheel and clean off all the, the dirt and grime. It's definitely not a complicated process. I can definitely see and I understand why people would want to know how I do it. Random guys driving on the street with uh, <laughs> lawn mowers, awesome. Um, again, just stick the towel in wherever you see residue and get that residue dry. Um, if you can stick your hands into barrels, do that as best you can, just to keep everything looking uniform and clean. Because after all, the purpose of cleaning them is that so that they look nice. And so that's where we're at. Nice and clean. Bring you back over here so you can see it. Nice and clean, barrels are nice and clean. Um, if, if this were a nicer car, a higher end car that had painted calipers or whatever, you know, you might want to use the lug nut brush to get the calipers done. Use the microfiber towel to get the calipers done. On this particular detail, this is just a general detail, nothing fancy, just a maintenance deal to keep this thing looking nice. Uh, and there you go. No browning on the tires, no dirt to speak of. Uh, they look nice and I've got plenty of water left over to do the other three wheels. Uh, plenty of infinite purpose cleaner. And that is that. If you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. That is my personal cell phone number. No other product line manufacturer will give you the owner's direct cell phone number. That's a fact, Jack. Uh, and use it, man. I'm, I'm here for you guys. If I can help you in your detailing endeav endeavors, send me a message. Uh, if you call me, leave me a voicemail. Uh, give me a detailed um, overview of what it is that you need so that when I call you back, I can ha be prepared and help you immediately. Uh, or if it's something simple you can text with, send me a text message or find me on Facebook. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook. It's a support system for my product line. Uh, send us a request. We'll get you in there. Uh, or again, contact me directly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.